This is a Microtik CAP AX, their new access point which supports Wi-Fi 6802.11 AX. It has a modern quad-core CPU of 1.8 GHz and it supports a 128 MB of NAND storage and it has a 1 GB of RAM and this access point has 2 GB Ethernet ports. Out of that, one port is a PoE in and the other port is a PoE out so you can power any other devices like the cameras and it has a PSU included. As you can see, the access point, it is a ceiling point access point and it looks like a smoke sensor smoke detector. So, and it's quite heavy. So without wasting any time, let's unbox and see what we get inside the box. So as of as you see, I have connected the, the Microtik CAP AX to the network, and I'm using the Winbox app. Uh, I will put down a link in the description. Also, if you have checked my previous video on the Microtik router RV750 GR3, I have done the same setup. So I'll put down a video up in the i button. You can check that. So here, my under the Winbox app, when you open it, under the neighbor, it detect the access point and. Uh, let me try to log in with the login as an admin and password as let me try the, the password which i have tried okay so right now what i'll do i will set the new password so i've changed the new password and okay so i'm logging so uh, i've changed the password of the winbox app so you should for the best practice for the very first time you have to uh, reset your password uh, the password which is given on the back of that access point you have to put that and you have to change that password to anything uh, i mean to which you can remember so you can set that so after you log in for the very first time you have to go to the bridge options and you have to set up a bridge first you have to set up a bridge ethernet name bridge one and type as a bridge i will apply and click on ok so bridge is set now i will set the port first as wi-fi one as a bridge one i will apply and set ok and the second same as a wi-fi two one for 2.4 and one for five gigahertz so similarly i will set for the two bridge as a bridge one i will apply and click on ok so similarly i will set the ethernet interface also the bridge port is also bridge and i will apply and okay and similarly for the ethernet 2 okay so i have created the ether 1 ether 2 the bridge port and it got disconnected so we will try to connect again so i have to log in with the uh, new password what i have set okay i am into that port so after you set the bridge port you have to set up the wireless so i will go to the wireless and i will okay so here is the wi-fi 1 and wi-fi 2 so first I will click the Wi-Fi one and I will go to the configuration. I will give the SSID tech talk 5G and country I will choose. Uh, I mean, I, I can choose India. So, okay, under the channel, I will set 5 gigahertz AX channel with I will set 204080 and frequency I will set the series and under the security authentication type I will set WPA2 WPA2 and I will set the fast phase okay and uh, I will apply okay I will apply and enable it now similarly I will set for the 2.4 country I will choose from the list as India channel band I will set the 2 gigahertz channel with I will set 20 to 40 and the frequency also the same series and under the security i will choose the same and the passphrase is different i will apply it and i will enable it so i have configured the wi-fi here 
So after configuration of that, I have to enable the DSCP client. So I have to go to the IP, click on the DSCP client, and I have to add Ether one as an interface and add default root. I will set as yes, and I will apply this is again. Okay. Now let me check the Wi-Fi. It discover the Wi-Fi or not? You can see the ID discover. So what I will do? I will connect uh, my phone uh, to the SSID and then we can check the speed here after connecting to the SSID. So I have connected this uh, phone to the SSID and then we'll check uh, does it work or not. Uh, what speed does it get on the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz right now you see I've created two SSID. So let me connect to the SSID first for 5 gigahertz. I'm sorry, just ignore that. So uh, I was connected to one of the SSID of the. So let me try to check the speed on this SSID. I'm on 5 gigahertz. So we can test it again and see uh, if there any speed uh, difference on the download. Yeah, much better than before, but it's getting yeah close to 327 Mbps on the download and the upload. Okay, you can check that. So now what we'll do, we'll try to connect to the 2.4 SSID and see what speed do we get on that. So, so I'm connected to the 2.4. So we'll check the speed on the 2.4 gigahertz. So on the 2.4, I'm getting up to 100 Mbps or close to 100. Yeah, went to 100 and then dropped down to 72. Yeah, so the download is 72 Mbps and the upload is 100 Mbps. Yeah, so that's a good speed you get on the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Now we'll go back to the screen or the router OS Winbox and we'll check the configurations of it. So you have seen that I have connected the SSID on 2.4 and 5 gigahertz on my phone and I've tested the speed. So this is a dashboard. You can check here under the wireless if you check under the registration you can check the wi-fi 1 and wi-fi 2 one is a 5g 5g 5 gigahertz and the 2.4 gigahertz band and you can check that and update so uh the i mean the connectivity of these access point is quite good i mean uh it's a wi-fi 6 so it should be good only and under the you can check here for the systems like if you want to check for the health and temperature everything you can check the here and under the interface also you can check the interface uh, how much how many packets receive and transmit under the and right now the poe out is auto set to on right now I, I haven't used the poe out for the powering so right now it is just accessing directly connected to the macbook laptop so you have seen that i have connected the ssid on 2.4 and 5 gigahertz on my phone and i have tested the speed so this is a dashboard you can check here under the wireless if you check under the registration you can check the wi-fi 1 and wi-fi 2 one is a 5g 5g 5 gigahertz and the 2.4 gigahertz band and you can check the tx and rx plate so uh the i mean the connectivity of these access point is quite good i mean uh it's a wi-fi 6 so it should be good only and under the you can check here for the systems like if you want to check for the health and temperature everything you can check the here and under the interface also you can check the interface uh, how much how many packets receive and transmit under the and right now the poe out is auto set to on right now i, I haven't used the POE out uh, for the powering so right now it is just accessing directly connected to the macbook laptop to get so let me check the terminal and if when ping to any network or not you can see i've been connected to the 5g internet so 5g ssid tech talk so that is working here you can check the signal strength of 2 minus 20 so you have seen the setup i mean how you can uh, connect the micro uh, access point to the network and set up uh, it's quite easy you have to just access uh, the winbox app and you have to set up the interface bridge interface ethernet wi-fi 1 wi-fi 2 and after that 
uh, you can create an SSID and configure and then just create and uh, under the IP address you can just set as the DSCP client if you want to set as the DSCP server the D you can even set that so I haven't checked those settings but let me look into the DNS one right now the day it's a dynamic server as my uh, gateway IP it is set but I can check the DNS server also whatever I want to set so I will choose the gate Google IP mm -hmm. So you can check the bridge interface here and what port are designated port and everything here on the win box. So I think uh, I will test more of this access point and check the speeds and connectivity uh, on this access point because right now it is connected to my network. So yeah, that I think that's it for the today's video. I hope you will like the video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye.